everyone, hello everyone and welcome back. I'm very excited to film this video. I will say the thing I'm even more excited about is the season two finale of Succession that's on tonight. That I'm just thrilled about. And if you're not watching Succession yet, you need to get on that train, even if it doesn't seem like the type of show that you would maybe normally watch. But anyway, today we are gonna be doing a spoiler-free review of Daisy Jones and the Six. Now, I have seen this talked about quite a bit throughout booktube, people loving this book, but when I say that this book is hyped, I'm not necessarily talking about book two, even though I've seen quite a few people talk about it. What I'm mainly talking about is this was part of Reese Witherspoon's book club, so it, received, so it received a lot of hype there. It's now gonna be made into a TV show, which I'll talk about at the end of this video. Now, I originally received this because I think it was a book of the month pick a while back, and I ended up actually, without even really looking at it too much, I gave it to my friend Sarah. If you're watching this, Sarah, you better enjoy it. <laughs> Just because it didn't seem like the type of book that would generally be my cup of tea, I don't have a ton of interest in music or bands. I can talk your ear off about books, TV shows, movies all day, every day. But aside from when I'm driving in my car, I don't, as bad as it sounds, care too much about music or bands. So it just wasn't really a book that inherently interested me that much. But again, I kept seeing it talked about everywhere, so I downloaded the audiobook for free from the Libby app. I highly recommend that. And, and I have quite a lot of thoughts about it. So again, let's go ahead and get into spoiler free for all of this, a spoiler free summary pros, cons, and then we'll talk about the TV series. So first getting into a high level summary, this takes place in the 1970s in California and it details sort of the rise from beginning to end of one of those popular rock bands or just bands in the world. And I will say, cause I saw this question, pop up a lot online. This is a fake band, it's not real, although some people think it's a little bit based off of Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham, but, but this is a fake band and it, and it focuses on all the different band members, although mainly on Billy Dunn, who is the lead singer, singer of the band of the Six, and Daisy Joan, who's this young, vivacious, up-and-coming singer who, when she joins the band, it becomes Daisy Jones and the Six. And this book, again, it's told from all their different perspectives, it deals with the band rising to fame, it deals with family, love, drugs, just everything you can kind of imagine. So first, getting into prose, the fact that this book is told from so many different perspectives, it makes this book, and I don't use this word very often, but just incredibly, incredibly bingeable. It goes by very quickly, whether you're, I think, reading it as a physical book or as an audiobook. All of the different actors do such a wonderful job on the audiobook. None of them felt stilted or fake. And I think what makes it so fun reading from the different perspectives is they'll talk about even whether it's major moments in life, love, death, or just like little tiny mundane day-to-day -day things. It's told from the perspective of them being interviewed present day, looking back um, at their rise to fame. And so it's very funny at times hearing all of the different perspectives of even just like the tiniest little moments and I found myself kind of cackling to and from on the way to work. And because you have all of those different perspectives, it's not like reading your average book where it's one-sided, just told from the point of view of the protagonist. You really find yourself empathizing with every single character throughout the book and there really was not one character that I despised. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't generally care that much, even about music, even when I'm like listening to lyrics of like my favorite all time songs that I like to work out to or drive to, I would never be able to recite the lyrics back just because for whatever reason, it just goes in one ear and out the other. So I'll admit I don't have a huge appreciation for this type of thing. But that being said, hearing and seeing the process of them creating the lyrics for the songs in this book and Billy and Daisy in particular working together on them. It definitely increased my appreciation into what that process looks like and a lot of the lyrics were really beautiful. And I only emphasize that because if I think that, you know, I'm not generally the type of person who would care about that and even I cared and really appreciated that in this book. I feel like whenever I'm saying that I cried while reading a book, I always point out that I'm not generally the type of person to cry, but maybe I've said that enough times throughout reviewing books that I need to stop saying that and maybe I just am a normal person who cries sometimes when reading a sad scene, but I will say I cried at one, maybe two, but definitely one points in this book, whether it for a very happy or for a very sad scene. And I would not say that this book 
is a romance by any means, but there is a lot of love and romance between a lot of the different characters in this book. And I'm not the type of person, you know, I like some romance, I like some spiciness in my books, but this really gets into just love, familial love, and really feels like a gut punch at a lot of different points throughout the book. And again, kind of like when I was talking about music earlier, those types of things, just because I don't read a lot of books that have a lot of love throughout it, don't tend to affect me that much, but like by the end of this book I was just sobbing, which I'm going to view as a pro here. Now getting into cons, I thought long and hard about this because I generally always have cons when I'm reviewing a book, but I honestly had trouble coming up with any here. I like to be pretty critical and think of some negatives, but none were popping up to me and I thought for probably five straight minutes trying to think of some. And I'm not gonna just, you know, make something up for the sake of it and for the sake of trying to sound super, super critical. The only thing that I could think, even though I didn't feel this way, is I could see people especially like the last couple of lines of the book, finding it a little bit cheesy. I could see people maybe feeling that way, but at least in the experience of listening and reading this, the ending did not feel cheesy to me at all, and I thought it hit home and was really powerful. So this is, yes, one of the few times I don't have any cons. So before we get into talking a little bit about the TV show, you can probably guess, but I am going to say that Daisy Jones and The Six is 100% worth the hype. By no means is this, you know, literary fiction, but at the same time, it's just such a fun, especially I think if you were to read this during the summertime, I think it's such a fun, bingeable, but also really powerful and really heartfelt book. So if that sounds like something you would like, I would definitely recommend it. Now talking a little bit about the TV show. Now, unfortunately at the time I'm posting this video, there's still no information on who's gonna play all the different characters, but I think we're at the very beginning stages of this. I've already forgotten if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but the Daisy Jones and the Six was part of, I think it's called Hello Sunshine possibly, but Reese Witherspoon has a book club, and Reese Witherspoon is really killing it when it comes to a book to movie or TV show adaptations. She's the reason Gone Girl became a movie. Of course, I'm sure you, a lot of you guys know she was one of the main reasons Big Little Lies became a TV show, and that's honestly one of the main reasons I checked out this book, because I've liked so many of the end products of book picks Reese Witherspoon has had. So I believe she's one of the main reasons that this is going to become a TV show. So it's going to be created by Amazon Studios, and I'm going to sound like an idiot here, but does anybody know, does that mean 100% this is going to be on Amazon Prime, or is that not necessarily what it means? I'm not sure. It's going to be a limited series, which I'm happy about because I think it, this was just one singular book. I don't want multiple seasons. I loved Big Little Lies, but season two was a, I don't know if that was needed. So it's gonna be a limited series, 13 episodes. And because this book has so many different characters, at first I thought 13 episodes sounded a bit long, but again, because it takes place over a few years, I believe it is, has so many different characters, it deals with them in the past and in the present. I think 13 episodes does sound about right. I'm really curious who you guys think should play some of the characters. So as of right now, even though that's not a ton of information, that's all that's out, at least right now, on the TV series. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'd highly recommend Daisy Jones and The Six, even if it doesn't seem like it would be something that would generally be your cup of tea. And I would also love to know if you've read the book and you're excited it's going to become a TV show. Who do you think should play all of the different characters? I honestly have not put much thought into it, but I have been looking online at different like fan accounts for which actors they want to play the different characters. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're watching Succession so we can discuss it together and I'll see you all next time. Bye.